are the rules, my friends. You'll take turns answering Age of Empires 2 related questions. These can be tech tree related questions, tournament questions, and this time we've also included campaign questions. Oh, no. There will be yes. 20 questions in total, divided into three groups of increasing difficulty. You'll get one point for a level one question, two points for a level two question, and three points for a level three question. In the case of an incorrect answer, your opponent will have the chance to steal. The questions for this quiz have once again been generously provided by the Reddit user Azot Spike. Thank you very much, my friend, for your contribution. For those of you watching or listening to this, if you happen to be someone who enjoys coming up with fun and entertaining questions related to Age of Empires 2, send me an email. I know people can be very creative with these things, so I'd love to feature some of your questions in a future episode of this quiz. Fiber, Dave, thank you very much for taking the time to be here, my friends. It's always great to see you. You guys nervous? Very. Yeah. Sure. And thanks yeah. for having us. Look at my look at my hand. Go. <laughs> it's too it's so blurry. I can't see your hand, Dave. <laughs> well, I gotta say the last two candidates here, Tinani and Nilly, they did set the bar quite high here. So I'm very mm -hmm. curious how you guys are gonna fare. So let's go. Level one questions. We're gonna start with Viper. Viper. What yes. are the two civilizations that can start creating bombard cannons right away upon hitting Imperial Age? Turks and Bohemians. That's indeed correct. That's one point for my Well, I can't forget to update my scoreboard here. Good luck, Dave. Dave. <laughs> yeah, what's up? Feeling the heat, Dave? <laughs> that was a super easy question. Go ahead. Go ahead, though. Go ahead. Okay, Dave, what's the only sieve that gets Arbalests but no Bracer? Oh, Arbalests but no Bracer? That's so easy as well. Say, I don't even know. I don't even know this shit. Let I'll me steal think. it. Take your time. Take your time. Well, let's think about the civs that don't get Bracer, right? Persians don't get Bracer. Teutons don't get Bracer. Franks don't get Bracer. Cumans don't get Bracer. I don't know. I, I don't make Arbalists with any of those. I'm going to say Franks, probably. Is that your final answer? Sure. That's incorrect. Fuck. Like, what? Dude, come on. Come I don't on, know. Chance Teutons? to steal? Is it Poor Teutons? Dave. Come on, Dave. Viper. It's Malians. Malians? Oh, Malians oh, is my correct. God, bro. Malians oh, my. is correct. Dude, I told you I'd lose this. You see that in tournaments as well. You should know. No, we don't. We yes, don't see we do. Malian Arbalis. When? When? But they don't have any other options. When, old man? 2017? When did we see that? <laughs> We're just beginning. Let's not start fighting with each other. Things He's, already, are gonna... <laughs> He's already molding. All the questions. Uh, no, question, I'm already mauled, one, bro. <laughs> I'm not mauling. I'm already mauled. It was question one, Dave. I know, one. and I'm already one zero behind. It's so tragic. Sure. Hey, no, two zero. Sorry, yeah, you're actually two zero. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's get ourselves together here, Viper. Mm -hmm. Assuming mm -hmm. you're the first one to use the market, and you're yes. not Saracens, how much gold would it cost you to buy one hundred stone? Oof. It's 130 for wood and, and food. Is it 130 for stone as well? Ooh. <laughs> I don't actually know, but I th yeah, 130. That's incorrect. Chance to steal for Dave. How much to buy stone? Correct. If no one has used the market and if you're not Saracens. Is it not 130? See, this is disgusting because I buy stone all the time. I use the market as a, <laughs> that's my religion. Using the market now, and now I can't, and now I can't remember, but I can guess. One thirty, one thirty. Sells. For, is it one fifty? No. That was not. closer, but still incorrect. The correct answer would be one hundred and sixty-nine gold. What? Indeed, that, that would be much? the correct answer. Yes, that much. Wow. I guess it's just because there's. You know, stone is by far the least yeah. amount on the map, right? It makes All sense. All right, yeah. no point for anyone in this question. Moving on, uh, it's going to be a question for Dave. Dave, what's the cost of a Bulgarian cray post? See, uh, I'm going to lose every single. Is it three fifty? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to lose every. That's single. correct. Three fifty. Hey, I'm not hey, You got go. it. One point for Dave. I think Dave. crepos are, are trash. By the way, I think they're trash. <laughs> Let it be known. Crepos are really good. <laughs> okay. So moving on, it's going to be Viper, question number five. What are the only two units that deal bonus damage versus gunpowder units? 
two units that deal bonus damage against gunpowder units. Correct. Well, combat dot the arrow will be one of them. But what? Oh, no, that doesn't make sense. I mean, like, Mangrai do bonus damage against bomber cannons, but they don't do bomber uh, bonus damage against hand cannoneers. So in correct. theory, so uh, 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 correct. So it needs to be versus gunpowder units in general. Oh, I got no. Wait, no. That's siege units. Magyars, hussars. Damn it. Um. Well, Condottiero is one of them. What is the other one? What is the other one, Viper? By the way, I'm not saying Condottiero is is right or wrong. Come on, we know it. That's that's. You know, last I'm time, last time my viewers gave me a lot of crap for helping, so I'm gonna my <laughs> lips are gonna be sealed for this one. I'm trying to think. I mean, it has to be some sort. Of, I mean, I don't think like our basic unit does any bonus damage against. Uh, could it be a siege unit, maybe? Okay, I don't want to pressure you too much. We got all the time in the world, but you know, let's keep moving. Do I get half a point for Condottiero? No, of course not. Hey, Condottiero <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Siege Onger. Uh, That's see incorrect. <sighs> Chance to steal for Dave. Against gunpowder units. Correct. It what? has to be something new. Oh. It has to be something new. Has to be. I'm gonna go for <clears throat> uh something freaking random like sergeant. That's uh what would be the second and one? And Condottiero, yeah, Condottiero. Okay, Condottiero is correct. The other one would be Winged Hussar. So Winged Hussar. See, something new. Incorrect. What? They have yeah, bonus damage so against gunpowder. I did yeah. not know that, bro. It's I did plus not know four. that. Is plus that like four a hidden... for the Winged Hussar? Is that actually, like a hidden no. bonus? No. Not really. I think it's in the sea of description, in the unit description, actually. So it's plus four for Wing Tassars and plus ten for Kandatieri. So no point for anybody in this question. I have never seen anything about that. Wow. <laughs> That's <laughs> these quizzes are good. You learn a lot. Poles versus <laughs> Bohemians became a whole new matchup. Yeah. Oh yeah, my goodness. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. True. True. <clears throat> so it's still two points for Viper, one point for Dave. Dave. What's the only sieve that lacks three Imperial Age blacksmith upgrades? Three Imperial Age blacksmith upgrades. Correct. Um, I want to say... So, like, when we're talking about Imperial Age blacksmith upgrades, we're talking about just upgrades available in Imperial Age, right? Because Aztecs, Incas, Mayas technically lack three blacksmith upgrades, but uh, correct. The about, former, okay. the former is correct. Okay, so we're, you're not cheesing the question. No, not it. no cheese, no cheese, yeah. my friend. Okay, non-dairy. I see. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> let's see. We've got. Ooh. 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 ooh, ooh. If you're moderately confident that you're gonna get it. You can also think aloud. I don't think that it's... I want to say Koreans, but I don't think it's Koreans because I think they get... They're just missing Blast Furnace in the final armor upgrade, right? Malay are fit missing... What the hell? Who would it be? <laughs> Viper, you know this for I sure. I don't actually. <laughs> I'm trying to think You don't well. know this. Trust me, my brain is... <laughs> working overtime. I here. can think of I can think of a bunch with two missing. Yeah. Um, but I can't think of the one with the third missing. Oh my god. Is it Again, just for fairness sake, because I was pressuring Viper a little bit before. Let's uh let's get moving here. TikTok Dave, come on. <laughs> TikTok, TikTok, yeah. Is it like I don't know. We'll just we'll just take a moonshot there. Um, Malians. Malians is incorrect. Yeah, Chances they get the final infantry. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I, I'm thinking Lithuanians, but they, they don't have the attack upgrade. They don't have armor for infantry, but do they have armor for the skirms? I think they do. So probably not Lithuanians. Then you have like, save like poles maybe. No, they have Bracer. Do they have the armor? Hmm. TikTok! 
uh, I already got timed true, out, bro. True, 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 true. true. Let's, let's, true. Let's, let's, and... keep, let's keep it fair. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna say Poles. I don't think it's them, but... That's incorrect. The correct answer would be Celts, actually. What? What? Oh, yeah. So they have no bracer, oh, no ring archer armor, armor and no plate armor. guarding armor. Makes sense. Yeah, true, true. I mean, it's only been around since like 2001. Yeah, so. know. <laughs> yeah. Who would know that, right? New, right? <laughs> okay, so no points for this question either. Moving on. This is going to be a campaign question for Viper. Oh, no. <laughs> so, Viper, which sieve do you face as an enemy on at least one scenario of all Dawn of the Duke's campaigns? So oh, we're, ta dukes. we're talking about Algirdus and Kistutis, Yadviga, or Jan Zizka. So those are the campaigns for Don of the Dukes. What civs came in that, that DLC again? I don't think I want to say that. No. I already <laughs> gave the names. And again, my audience uh, was not happy about the fact that it was helping no. candidates last time. I feel like Bulgarians was one of those civs. Like... Slavs. Dave looks like he knows. Just, Dave is just a saying. campaign speedrunner. Of course he knows. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and say Bulgarians. That's incorrect. Chance to steal for Dave. Dawn of the Dukes and Lord of the West. Now I'm getting confused which ones are which. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm getting yeah. confused which ones are which. I think I'm going to go for... Uh, Lithuanians. Is that your final answer? Yeah, sure. That's incorrect. Uh, is it Poles? So the, the the right answer would be Teutons. Oh. So yeah, you said you said which which sieve was you face present as an enemy as an you enemy face as an enemy. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. In so every in at least oh. scenario of all of those campaigns. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. Last question from level of one. Dave, which Wait, this is, is level one? <laughs> this is still level one. Well, well, it's two to one, I think, for the score, so it's pretty <laughs> pathetic, honestly. Okay, let's go. Which sim do you play with in the Gajamada campaign, Dave? Oh, Gajamada. Oh my god, there's oh, no. only two here. There's only two here. Um, I'm pretty sure. Oh man. See the problem. The problem is that if I miss this Viper, it's easy for Viper to get this. <laughs> I mean, it's easy for Viper to get this. Gajamata. I think we're looking at. I think we're looking at. Uh, Burmese. Burmese is incorrect. Ah, Chance come on. to steal for Viper. Come on. Actually, I'm a little bit concerned. I, I think it's <laughs> either Malay or Vietnamese. But I don't remember which one. I think I'm just going to go ahead and guess Malay. Malay is correct. Yes! Yes! For Viper. Viper. Majiman or whatever his name is. And then Vietnamese is Laloi. Correct. Laloi, correct. Ah, oh, man. Okay. <laughs> so that's one point for Viper, and that means we're left with three points for Viper in general, in total, and one point for Day. So it's totally recoverable. And yeah. we're moving on to level two questions, and <laughs> these are now worth two points. So everything's Ooh. still open. Nice. Spicy. Uh, okay, we're going to start with Viper. And Viper, for this question, there won't be a chance to steal. So only you will have the option to answer this one. By the way... The same thing is going to be true for the next question. Okay, Viper. Which mm -hmm. the following units is the most expensive in total resources? Chuko Nu, Ratten Archer, Genoese Crossbowman, or Longbowman? Again, is no like chance I, to steal. Feel free to think aloud. Like one of them is the most expensive. That one. That's in that. total resources. That's it. <laughs> you got it. So I don't know how much any of them cost. So this is going to be great. Is a rat yeah, welcome to the club, bud. <laughs> <laughs> I think rat notches are fair. Chuguno are also fairly cheap, I believe. So I'm thinking it should be either Longbowman or what, what was that? It was a uh, Chuguno, Rat Archer, Longbowman, and Genoese Crossbowman. Genoese Crossbowman. I feel like it's either Genoese Crossbowman or Longbowman. I honestly have no idea. This is going to be a wild guess anyway, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and guess Longbowman. 
Long Beaumont is incorrect. It's the so, cheapest one of all of them, I think. Really? Yeah, yeah I think uh, is. Dave is correct. Yeah. You I want to try to guess, we, Dave? No point Genoese for you. Expo, but... right? uh, it's the Ratten Archer, actually. Ratten Genoese Archer. would be the second, the second right. the most expensive. Can we know how much they cost? Absolutely. Ratten Archer is 50 wood, 45 gold, so 95 resources in total. Damn. Genoese is 45, 40, so 85. Mm -hmm. Chuko Nu 40, 35. And mm -hmm. Lang Bowman 3540. I, I was wow. kind of surprised how cheap they are, actually. Yeah. I thought they were way more expensive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, they're only 3545. They suck. Don't try. 3540. Lang Bowman. Yeah. 3540. Wow. Okay. <laughs> and I believe they take a long time to create, though, right? Yeah. And they're squishy. Yes. Sick. All right, moving on. No points for anybody in this question. Dave, which of the following units is the most expensive in total resources? So, same question, but the options are Tarkin. Custillier, Step Lancer, or Keshek. No chance to steal for Viper in this one. Tarkin is 60 60. I know that. Um, Step Lancer is like 45. No, it's like 75 45, I think, right? Um, <laughs> right? Not if. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Blink no, twice. Just, yeah. um, what were the other options? What were the for other people, options? For people listening to this, I'm not moving. So don't, don't you think I'm giving hints to yeah. Dave? Dave, the options are Tarkin, Custillier, Step yeah. Lancer, or Keshek. And Keshek. Um, I know Keshek people have been angry in the past because it's cheap relatively. So I'm going to think that it's probably cheaper than the Tarkin for 120. I don't know how much the Custillier is. Um, I'm going to say it's between Castillier or Tarkin? Not hearing the music right now, but Castillier. I'm hearing it. Final That's answer. incorrect. No, oh, come on, give me something here. Tarkin. You would have been the Tarkin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, dude, dude. You were so close, man. I was, I was right on it, bro. I was rooting for you. And you were totally correct in the price as well. It's 60 yeah. 60. Custillier would be 55 55. So no, it would be 110. Was... Very close. Very close. Okay, so nothing has changed. It's still three points for Viper, one point for Dave. Moving on. Viper, the British technology Yeoman is yes. one of the two most expensive Castle Age unique technologies. What is the other one? Got the question? Repeat, please. Uh, mm -hmm. So Yeoman yes. is one of the two most expensive Castle Age unique technologies. Okay. What is the other one? Bro, this is so easy. What is it like? What? <laughs> <laughs> How is it easy, man? I don't agree with that. That is easy. Um, Maybe he's just bluffing. Maybe I'm I am. trying to think. Yemen is like six, seven hundred. It's like a thousand resources, I think. What else could be possibly up in that range? I don't think I will ever get this one right. There will be a chance to steal, by the way. Oh. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. knows that really can. think about this one, buddy. <laughs> Better really. I'm super confident. I'm gonna be wrong. I'm gonna 100% be wrong. 100%. Oh wait, wait. Maybe I'm onto something here. I know berserkers were always so expensive to upgrade, but they reduced the cost a little bit recently. But maybe the cost is still high enough that it's expensive. Maybe cat. No. I'll mm. take the sieve as well. You don't need to say the name of the technology yeah. if you don't know it. Yeah. I'll take the sieve as well, by the way. I... It's probably Greek fire, Viper. It's probably Greek fire. That's, that's, isn't that, oh, that's not Imperial. Yeah. Um, I think it could be Burmese as well, maybe, right? That's Castle Age. Mana per cavalry? No, that's Imperial Age. Castle Age oh. is the armor for yeah, uh, the elephants. elephants. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't even know the name of that. I'm, on the question I'm gonna, Yeah, I'm going to guess Vikings, but I think it's That's wrong. correct. Oh, really? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Are you serious? That's <laughs> correct. First Crusade isn't really. Are you serious? You get 35 units. That's oh. actually correct. And they're equal in cost, by the way. It's 1,200 resources altogether. Sick. Um, so that's uh, Chieftains. It's the unique technology. Mm -hmm. And that's correct. Two more points for Sick. Viper. That's five for Viper, one for Dave. Still a lot on the line, though. Moving on, Dave. 
Um, again, there will be a chance to steal for this one as well. What's the most expensive unique technology in the game? In the game. So this time, not only just Castle Age, but in the game. Oh boy, oh no. The unique technology is from the castle, right? The unique correct. technology there. Correct, correct, okay. correct. Mm. Is it... Hmm. I'd say I'm leaning towards Flemish just because of what it gets you. But I don't know the cost of it. I know it was increased at some point. I don't know the cost. Um... Um, Again, Dave, feel free to think out loud. <laughs> Thank you for You're taking welcome. over, Viper. Yeah. <laughs> then there's stuff like. Dude. There's some text that I think of as expensive, but only because of the type of resources they cost. Oh, that's true, actually. Yeah. I don't know oh. in terms of like total resources. Fuck. Just, now, now I'm giving him idea. Yeah, 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 you're I, just trying I, to I was, mess him up. You're just trying to mess him up. That, 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 that's, like, that and now I'm thinking now I'm thinking of stuff like Fury Celtica or Drill as well that are very valuable that might cost wood instead and have like a higher value. Hmm. I don't know, dude. There's 42 sieves now. It's so <laughs> stupid. I'm gonna say I'm going to say Flemish because it should be the highest cost. And it's probably going to be incorrect, right? That's correct, be... David. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Finally, two Flemish points. Flemish revolution right. is correct. Two That's points for right. Dave. Right. It's 1,200 resources. No, sorry. 1,200 food and 650 gold. So 1,850 altogether closely followed by i think it's this one is pronounced druzhna so the slavs oh, technology. Right, yeah correct i think i heard doubt say druzhna once or something yeah well go with that. wow nice awesome so we're left with five points for dave uh, sorry five points for viper and three points for dave Wait, everything's right. still very much recoverable so viper this is going to be a tournament question hmm. the player draken has won Group B of the Gold League of T90's Titan League. Name four of the remaining five players who played in the same group. Got the question? Yeah. The good thing here for me is that I think that's Nila's group. There will be a chance to steal. I'm pretty sure it's Nila's group. And I have no. helped Nila analyze some of the wrecks no. from that group <laughs> in that case. So How well do you know your teammate, Viper? This is the question right here. It's Nila on the spot. Nilly is one of them. Uh, Modri is one of them. Fire. Who was the last one? Oh, the last ones. So Nilly, Modri, Fire. Oh God, who will be that? I'm thinking direction Valas, but I'm not sure. Let me think. Let me think. Ah. Uh, how many players do I need to name? Four. You need you need to name uh, four. Correct, of the remaining five. Fire, nearly, Modri, 100%. I'm really struggling with the last two. I think... I'm not saying uh, you got those right. I'm just saying you would only need one more. It's four know. out of five. Oh, how do I not remember remaining ones? Okay, so a little bit of pressure here. TikTok, yeah, TikTok. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wallace was maybe in another group. I'm gonna say Wallace. That's incorrect. Chance to steal for Dave. Yeah, uh, we're gonna go with Fire, Nilly, Madri, and Sobek as the other. That's correct. Two points for Dave. <laughs> Who was Deep wow. Nilly territory over on my stream, by the way. Deep Nilly territory. <laughs> I think Ballas won his group. If I'm yeah, not he mistaken. was in Group A. Yeah, yeah, yeah he obliterated the yeah. the. Who um, was the last one in Nilla's group? Jim um, Jack would be yeah. would have been the other guy. Okay. He yeah, finished then, last uh, in the group. Yeah. He finished last in the group. Yeah. That's correct. So we're tied up. It's five points for Viper. It's five points for Dave, and Dave gets the next question. Yep. Dave, who were the semifinalists of King of the Desert Four?
chance to steal? Uh, I think um, it was Vinchester against Leary, I believe, and then it was Viper against... Who did you face in the semifinal? Who did you face? It? Was it Sato? Because I know it was it was you and Vinch in the final. And let's go Vinchester Leary and then Vipe. Or no, did Sato make it to the semis or did Sato only make it to the quarters? My lips are I'm, sealed. I'm it's gonna say. Vipers. I think Sato made it to the round of 16. Hmm. I'm going to say Viper, Sato, and Vinchester, Leary. That's incorrect. incorrect yeah. Chance to steal for Viper. That's the embarrassing part. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> see, see how tough it is? He played in the thing. Like, come on. Uh, I, yeah, it was me. It's correct. Vinchester beat Leary. I faced Minches in the final, but who did I beat? Yeah. Oh, that's even weirder. So you don't know who your opponent no. was. That's uh, that's even funnier, actually. It's probably someone completely insignificant, right? So. Wow. Was maybe, make well, maybe it was one of my teammates. Maybe it was. Wait, wait, was wasn't it Jordan? Yeah, yeah, Jordan. Jordan. So what's the final answer? Jordan. So the four names. Uh, Vinches Leary, Viper Jordan. That's correct. Yeah, yeah, Two yeah, points yeah. for Viper. You're welcome for me laying it out for you. <laughs> <laughs> would you have known? Everyone would you have known? I would remember everyone except my opponent. I, yeah. I did get it in the end, but the ones they mentioned, I, I knew. Yeah. So Joe made it to quarters, I guess, then, not semis. No, I think right? he just had a. He had almost knocked Hera out of the group phase, no? Now, was there a group phase? There was. Yeah, um, I remember check it. it was Sita against Hera, and like they had like two two and decided a game. Whoever lost would be out. Maybe that was quarterfinals. I don't remember. So Sito, he did get to the quarterfinals, but he lost to Larry four yeah. zero. Okay, how was the uh, group stage show? Did he face Hera in the group stage? Um, because I, I seem to remember there was some like he beat. I think he. He was definitely like 2 2 against Hera. I think yeah, he yeah. might have. He lost to Hera. Okay. But he, he finished on, yeah. on top of Hera. So he this was, was fourth in the, in the group and yeah, Hera was yeah. fifth. So it was kind of the uh, breakout performance of Sito. Yeah. And we have the. Now we all have to experience the two militia rush. Thank you, Sito. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so he was the one who started yeah. it, more or less. Uh, him and Vinchester were basically yeah. the mm -hmm. two. Cool. <clears throat> okay, so that closes level two questions. That means we're moving on to level three questions. So three points for these questions. And we're at seven points for Viper, five points for Dave. Yep. Okay, so it's a uh, level three question now worth three points. We're going to start with Viper. Uh, there's going to be a chance to steal for all the questions, by the way. So, Viper, if you wanted to research all unit upgrades and all technologies oh. in your stable... Which civilization would have to spend the highest amount of resources to complete this task? Did you get the question? Yes. So I'm not interested in units. It's only yeah. unit upgrades and technologies, technologies in your stable. So it would have to be someone that has access to the most, for the most part, to... Is there someone who has heavy camel? Like, Saracens have heavy camel, but they don't have Knight Paladin. Uh, wait, this is... He can steal, right? I don't care if... He... Yeah, um... Burgundians don't make sense because they're cheaper. I mean, I think in Hindustan is because they have Imperial Camel as well, but they don't have Knights. That doesn't make sense either. Mm, I'm trying to think if there's any save that has Heavy Camel and Cavalier and Paladin. That doesn't sound like anyone should have that, but you know, <laughs> never know. Um, wait, and we have Gurjara now who has Shiramsha Riders. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hmm, maybe not, because Lithuanians have they have Winged Huster TikTok. as well, which is more expensive now. What was that? I said TikTok. <laughs> uh, do you know it, Dave? I think I do, yeah. Hmm. Oh, but then we have uh, Battle Elephants and such as well. Oh, 
I have no idea actually. Um, Chinese have discount on tech, so it shouldn't be them either. <laughs> this is tough. Uh, do Tatars have heavy camel? No, they don't. Do they? I'm going to say Hind Hindustanis. I know it's wrong, but. Hindustanis is incorrect. Chance to steal for Dave. I'm going to say Byzantines. Oh. Byzantines is incorrect. No, no dude, way. I have such a good theory behind that. <laughs> God damn it. But it's pretty close. It's the oh. third. It's uh, it's the uh, same with the third most uh, expenses. One of those elephant ones that is in front. It's or? actually Cumans because they have the Hussar, Paladin, and Elite Step Lancer. Oh, oh Elite Step, Step Lancer. Lancer. I was thinking yeah. they don't have Heavy Camel. I yeah. thought of humans, but they didn't right. have Right, the same. second would have God. been Persians with mm. a Paladin and the um, Heavy Camel. Oh, and they have Bloodlines. Mm. I didn't even think about Persians. Oh, yeah, God. Yeah, Correct. So, uh, humans do have Bloodlines. They don't have Husbandry, but that still puts yeah. them at the top. Yeah. All right, Make so them. no points for that. Sorry? Makes sense. Makes sense, yeah. yeah. Okay, so no points for this question. We're going to move on. It's a question for Dave now. Still level three. Three points on the line. Dave, if you wanted to research all unit upgrades and all technologies in your dock, which civilization would have to spend the highest amount of resources to complete this task? So it's basically the same question, but now we want to know about your dock. And not what are you stable. You're talking? You want to know about my dock? <laughs> yeah, about right. your dock, my friend. All right, dude. <laughs> with a D. <laughs> oh, that doesn't make it better. That doesn't make you it better. Want to know about my D? Okay. That doesn't make it better. You got it. You got it. <laughs> you remember, Viper, do you remember back in the day when you would signal your dock on Nomad? You'd be like, my D is here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> be like, nice Old D, time. bro. Nice D. <laughs> back when we were young. Yeah. Right here. Bullet still does that. Bullet I'm still not does surprised. that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So in the dock, so we're going to need someone with uh elite cannon galleon we're gonna need someone probably with a unique ship upgrade i'm leaning towards and and someone with shipwright as well um i'm thinking maybe like portuguese potentially i would lean towards koreans as well but they don't have heavy demo which is kind of a factor also don't know if koreans have a or a heavy or elite fire ship or fast fire ship i don't know because the turtles usually come out at that point huh and there's no elite thoricidae as well so that's kind of off the table i'm going to go with i'm gonna say it's either koreans or portuguese likely and whatever, if I pick one, then Viper is going to win the 50 50, which is unfortunate. <laughs> I think it's going to be. I don't think heavy demo costs that much. And Portuguese don't get fast fires. So I think it's going to be Koreans. Is that your final answer? Sure. That's correct! <laughs> Three points for day. It's a well That's... thought out answer. Yeah. yeah, indeed it was, my friend. Yeah. Three points for you. So you said basically everything. Uh, they lack demolition ships, but the elite turtle upgrade uh, costs a whole lot. Yeah. Um, very close were Vikings and Portuguese. Both have got a unique, unique uh, ship on their... No, I don't want to say dock anymore, but that's what it's called. <laughs> it's a nice dock. It's a nice dock. That yeah, is, it, it is. Yeah, it's, it's got a lot of options. Like, it can move around, you know? It's good. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. That was three points for Dave. That means Dave takes the lead for yeah, the first right. time in the show. It's eight points for Dave, seven points for Viper. But now it's Viper's turn to answer, and it's a campaign question. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what is the only European Civ to make an appearance in Bayanong's campaign? What is Bayanong? What, what is, is that? that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, I can. Sp I actually checked Orden Lu's pronunciation of this just to make sure I would pronounce it correctly. But I can spell if you guys want me to. Okay. 
I can spell the name. It's B-A-Y-I-N-N-A-U-N-G. I'm going to guess it was some sort of like Portuguese trade or something happening over there in the East. So I'm just going to say Portuguese. That's it? Maybe. Could it be Spanish? I, I I'm only asking because yeah. you didn't I'm trying take to think. Any... I, don't, I don't think I can think Please of Please don't take any else. hint from me. That doesn't mean anything. Uh, I'm saying, well, that's a hint then. I should... So I should go back to my old answer. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. No, I'm, I'm saying Portuguese. Is there a final answer? Yes. Portuguese is correct! Yeah, Three go. points for Piper. Sick. What other sip would be over there? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. So that's 10 points for Viper and 8 points for day. So look at you guys. Now that the level 3 questions are coming, you're getting everything correct. So moving on, another campaign question for Dave. Let's go. How many towns do you need to have under your control in order to win the third scenario of the Yad Viga campaign, Duel of the Dukes? Did you get the question? I did. Um, I loved Yad Viga. I thought it was the amazing best campaign. campaign. Yeah, amazing I mean, campaign. it's up there with Attila the Hunt for me. It's like one, one or two. Um, how many towns do you need to have under your control? Um, in order I'm to just trying to. I'm scenario. trying to remember which one exactly that is. I'm gonna say, like, I I can't even really remember it, so I'm just gonna have to guess a number. <laughs> um, three would be too little. Five is is too obvious an answer. I'm gonna go with <laughs> six. Six is your final answer. Sure. That's incorrect. That's incorrect. Yeah. Chance to steal for Viper. I have no. Is this? I, I'm thinking this is the one where you're running or like you're spawning with a base in the bottom left, and you're like going through cities, taking over. I have no idea. I don't remember. It That's exactly. so many campaigns, though, dude. That's okay. so many campaign but that, the, levels. The one where you spawn in the bottom left, Abe. Don't you know that one? You'll have to be more specific. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say five. That's incorrect as well. Eight it's would eight, be the eight. correct oh. answer. I told you five was too obvious. And then yeah. you gotta listen. <laughs> I know how these work. It's too tells obvious. You, tells you how much you yeah. respect your opinion, Dave, I guess. <laughs> yeah. All right. No points for everybody. So we'll still, still stuck at 10 points for Viper, eight points for Dave. Moving on, two last questions. Everyone can still win. So for this next question, we're going back to 2014. Oh. To what to this day still is the highest prize pool ever featured in an Age of Empires 2 tournament, though not for long, we may we might say. The Legion clan finished third in the war is coming. Name five players who signed up for that team. Who's whose question is this? It's for Viper, sorry. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Legion clan. Who even played for Legion Clan back then? That's the question. That's basically. the question, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, was Chris back at that time active playing? Well, isn't this where they also had like Brazilians playing with them, or is this that they beat the Braz did they beat the Brazilians in this? Wait, which tournament was this again? War is coming. Yeah, Silly we're questions. talking about the war is coming in 2014. <laughs> While you think, I might give a little bit of context because I know both of you guys know this. Uh, this was a tournament sponsored by the Tyron clan. Which you were in. Yes. <laughs> okay. Didn't want to make it too obvious, but yeah, I'm pretty sure you both guys remember this question. I'm actually sure that Dave told me this is one of your of the tor tournaments that really lured you in into the Age of Empires 2 competitive. Oh yeah, I never, I never did RM anything before this tournament, so... I was custom scenario only. This tournament was great, man. Still one of my favorites. Who did they play in the in the like, third place? It was a third place match. I remember that. Who did we face in the final? Uh, I don't think I'm spoiling anything when I tell you that you faced your own clan in the final. Oh, I'm true. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there was Tyrant Legends true. and Tyrant Warlords. Warlords, correct. Yeah. Who was it. in the third place match then? Was it Brazilians or was it? So maybe it was the uh, Eighth Wonder and the gang. Naps. Loisa. Yeah. 
Yeah, knobs. I feel like maybe it was knobs and they lost to Elk Clan. Okay, I'm gonna say um, Chris, VH, Alive, uh, Wrath, How many names can I give? Can I just <laughs> list le names left and right? Just gave four. Yeah. Um, who else played one with more? Them? I think like maybe someone like Miguel. No. Hmm. I have a really hard time coming up with another name. L Clan. L Clan. This is the last question for Viper, so I'm actually gonna give you as much time as you want. I, I I feel like it was like it was an upset actually. So it was um, Chris VH. Oh, isn't that when like Spring? No, was he? Up? Did he join them then? I'm gonna say Spring as well. Okay, so give me your five names once more. Uh, Alive, Wrath, Chris VH. Spring. That's incorrect. Yeah. Chance to steal for Dave. I don't remember this at all, so I'm gonna go alive, wrath, Chris, Fiage, and um Then the last one is the question mark, right? Like who is an L clan? I don't even know if those first four played at that. I remember time. I, that's who I was gonna say though. If I was gonna make a guess that's who i was gonna say spring definitely not <laughs> i don't think he, uh, he played with chris but chris's team but i think it was later tournament. um i don't think like raw or anyone was in l clan i don't think there was any of the canadian connection there um i'm gonna go with like i don't think dogao was in there either or miguel i want to say like one of the other brazilian guys riot wasn't I don't think any of the Argentinian guys were in there. Um, let's just say, like, I, I have no idea, dude. So I'm just going to say, like, Dogal is my final. Okay, so give me your five names again. Uh, Alive, um, Wrath, uh, Fiage, Chris, and Dogal. That's very close, but unfortunately incorrect. No. Alive was not on that team. Oh, what? No. The other four were, though. <laughs> wow. Uh, so it was uh, Dogon, Chris, Miguel, Fih. Oh, so Miguel, Miguel and were there. Miguel, ah. Miggy. Everyone always underrates, underestimates Miguel, dude. <laughs> I didn't and mention then that. We had Kapach, Wrath. I think Wait, one of Kipoch you mentioned Wrath as well. Kapach was there. Oh One of you guys God. mentioned Wrath as well. Yeah. Then there was Bro. I thought about Bro. Bro was what? Really? Bro wow. also signed up for the team. And then there were the uh, deathmatch players, Rage and True. Oh, I yeah. thought that Dude. if you guys would have gotten four correct, you would have thought about the I DM. I thought deathmatch was a component right. of the death, tournament. Deathmatch, yeah. I'm pretty sure you would have gotten it. Okay, so it's still 10 points for Viper, 8 points for Dave. This final question decides everything. No pressure, Dave. Just relax. <laughs> I'm not feeling any pressure whatsoever. I I came in here expecting to lose. All right, this is a oh, welcome surprise. I'm within very, range. And you're very losing. close. To, you're very yeah. close to win. So it's basically if Dave doesn't get it right, it's over. And if Dave gets it right, it's over as well. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna stay in 2014 for this question. No. But yes. we're gonna go back a couple of months. Argentina A finished third in the first SY Nations Cup. Name five players who signed up for that team. <laughs> I'm not sure Let's if this go. is like good or FedEx, bad. FedEx, Juan, oh. Nikov. Damn it. Um, <laughs> FedEx, Juan, Nikov. Uh, five players there. Right? That's three. TikTok. That's three. Um, no, <laughs> no, 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 I'm going to no, give no, you no. as much time as you need for this one, just as I did with Viper. I just want to say, Dave, I think I will get this one if you fail. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. If I fail, I lose. True. Um, 
Dude, it's so stupid because I talk about players from countries all the time on my stream and I always name off like six people from Argentina and I just can't, I can't remember. But I would say, I want to say Capoch. I didn't think he was active back then, but I want to say because he was part of the Legion team and you said it was months earlier than that in 2014. So you, it gave me a hint. Uh, hey. Uh, on uh oh, one. <laughs> I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Uh... Juan Mikov FedEx. Dude, there's there's like three Argentinian players that I'm missing out on that I can't remember the names. Oh god. Oh man. I mean he can't have as much time as he wants, right? You have to put some sort of limit. Oh god. Well, it's still well within limits, I'd say. Was Aramis the... on that I... team? You're expecting an answer from me? <laughs> was Aramis on that theme as well? Is that your final answer? No, that's a question. <laughs> that's a question, bro. There's like you're gonna you're gonna say uh what it is. Monos probably wasn't on that team, right? I actually might have been. I'm gonna go with uh I mean, screw it. It's just a, it's just imaginary points in an imaginary YouTube quick show. I mean, I, <laughs> I, I don't care. Honor. We're going with uh, FedEx, Juan, um, Nikov, and then we're going to go with... Um, Kapoch, because he was active during that other time period. And then we'll go with... Hmm. Uh, Monos, probably, and they probably had like a seven-man roster, so odds are I'm gonna get some someone wrong. But so is yeah. that your final final yeah. answer? Sure, sure. That's incorrect, unfortunately. No. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> and that means the Viper is the winner of the quiz show. You were so close, though. Uh, yeah. Dave. Kapach was not on that team. Ah, he Gary. came back for... That's why, dude, Gary. he was messing with my head. <laughs> Gary, 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 that's Gary the name I was trying to think of, is Gary. Oh, my God. And Patton. And Patton, Patton. Well, yeah. Oh, God. So, there was a sixth player. Uh, I don't think he played. Yeah. And uh, it's Mago. And I, I believe Mago is Monos. I, I would have checked it if you, you would give him the, that answer. Okay. Um, but yeah, the five players who played most of the games are actually, I believe, every game was FedEx, Juan, uh, Gary, Nikov, and Patney. Okay. It's, it's so unfortunate that he, <laughs> that he, uh, that he thought Kapach was there, but it was actually a I very good strategy. I only thought it, it makes because sense. Because of the other Yeah, it would have right? made a, yeah. ton, a ton of sense indeed. Um, maybe I shouldn't have mentioned that it was 2014. Anyway, yeah. guys, this was fun. This was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for taking the time to come here. It was really, really nice of you guys. And I guess the pro player, the pro player uh, has beaten the pro caster. That's that's how it is. Yeah, but right. very close, man. Very close. Anyway, guys, thank you so much uh, for coming again. And uh, thank you, everybody, for listening and watching. If you happen to enjoy this kind of content, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave us a comment. And the next video on this channel will be an interview again, and this time with none other than Spirit of the Law himself. Ooh, so sweet. do stay tuned for that. And if you want to submit a couple of questions for the interview, do check my last community post. And um, I can't promise I'll get to all of them, but I, I'll read them for sure. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for watching. Dave Viper was amazing. Thank you so much for being Thanks, here. Thanks, Nelson. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.